I have created a giant vivarium and I will explain in this video how. This is now my new gem. It's not only about the size. Come along and I will explain to you why. Because big or small, this vivarium has it all. It all started by me buying a 2 meters long tank. It's huge! I could almost sleep in it, no kidding. Then I started by putting a good layer of gravel in the bottom of the vivarium. This will act as a false bottom. If not placed there, precipitated water will create an unwanted mud in the bottom of the vivarium with dirt. It also disperses the water around the vivarium. Done, I cut this mesh that will act as a substrate divider. It will prevent dirt from sliding down in between the false bottom. So, you may have noticed that I have left an area of the tank without gravel. This, ladies and gentlemen, will be the surface of this vivarium's future lake or wet area. Have a look at this picture. The idea is that when I add water into the tank, it will create a level of water below the substrate divider, right? And then, because the crater is below it as well, water will pour up here, which would create a mini pond. I've never tried this before, but yeah, we'll eventually find out. So now we add the sword. This tank requires a lot of it. I kept in mind not to pour any into the lake area. And yeah, that's pretty much the essential. Now, let's concentrate on the design. Decorating the vivarium is a long, ongoing process. Here, I am adding sand into the lake area for an aesthetic reason. But also other reasons. Sand is, in my opinion, a must for a vivarium, as many animals are dependent on it. It has good drainage and much more. Keep in mind that you should have as much diversity in your vivarium as you can. This will create opportunities for its inhabitants, and you will be able to see crazy behaviors and specializations. As you can see, I put the big stuff in the back and then work my way forward. I recommend you to do this as well, as this will enable you to see a bigger portion of the tank if you don't have a 360 degrees view of it. And here are the results. A beautiful closed tropical rainforest with a pond. And further back, nice dead trunk ready for ants to move in. This tank is far from finished, but I have planted the essential. Unfortunately, I won't show you nature lovers more of how I put in the plants and the other stuff in this video. Why? because I have planned to hopefully every weekend make an update for you guys. This will enable me to go into detail of every corner and organism of this tank and at the same time update you guys. I will also keep regular polls so that you will be able to steer both the look and the future of this tank. And please, if you haven't subscribed, do, because the next weekend will have a deep insight into our beloved termite colony. They will blow your mind. These guys actually have kamikaze soldiers. The question is, do you want to see that in action? This tank has loads of awesome secrets and features. And don't you worry, we will explore every inch of it and I will do my best to explain it in an entertaining way for you every weekend on this channel. So, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and let the saga of this thriving tank begin. Also check out my brand new Instagram as well for daily vivarium updates. Have a fantastic day and the termites and I will be waiting for you next weekend.